Hi, welcome back. This is Scott Schubert, and today I'm going to reveal to you the secret of whether or not brokers actually trade against you as a trader and customer. And if so, how does that work? And if you watch this all the way through, I'm going to show you how to trade in a way that no broker can ever stop you from winning over and over. So let's get started with that right now. A lot of people have been told that brokers are trading against them. And this causes some crazy paranoia, as you can imagine, where every time that you lose a trade, you're thinking that the reason that I'm losing this trade is because of those evil brokers. And since we know that trading psychology is extremely critical, and this type of severe inner conflict is very likely to cause a trader to go down in defeat because they don't believe that they have any control over whether they win or lose. If you lose a trade, almost certainly it's not the broker that's causing the loss. You're making all the decisions. You're in charge of taking all the actions if you believe that you have the power to create success or failure, then you're empowered to create success. But hang with me as I'm going to reveal to you exactly what really happens having brokers on the other side of our trades. So have you ever really thought about how does that process work if a broker is trading against you? Does that make you feel like something sinister is going on? Like you better watch out because something's going on and the broker's gonna take all my money and they're going to make me lose my trades and all this. And have you ever wondered if that's what's really happening? It is kind of shocking and amazing how many traders have never really thought about the logic of how that would work regarding this belief that brokers are trading against them. And what does that actually mean? For instance, you go and you learn how to trade, and then you go to your computer, and you start making decisions and taking actions of getting into trades. And then you're here and then over there somewhere. And you also, a lot of people think that their broker is a person. And that person is over there somewhere while you're trading. I'm trading over here and they're trading over there. And they're trading against me. So let me ask you this. How exactly does a person trade against another person? How does that work? Let's say you trade against me. So I'm gonna to go to my computer and I'm gonna trade and then you go to your computer and you trade, but you just trade against me. How does that work? Well, you don't have access to, you know, you're not my broker, so you don't have access to see my trades, but let's say even if you do, then you have access to my trades and then you're gonna trade against me. And how would you do that? And even more so, how would you trade against the thousands of customers that each broker has who are all trading every different kind of strategy at any moment? There are all kinds of people going long and short on the same instrument, on the same pair, for all different kinds of reasons, completely different strategies. And how would you trade against all of those people? And also, you hear a lot about uh, people using the term, oh, that's a dealing desk broker, as if there's a physical desk and there's a physical person at the desk and trades are coming in and they're going, oh, I think I'll put this one through to the interbank market uh, liquidity provider. And, you know, this one, I think we'll just keep it in house. And How would that be possible? You ever think about any of these things? You know, this kind of, I mean, just, you know, if you wonder about the absurdity of some of the beliefs that we have. Maybe you might want to review some of the beliefs that you may have had in the past if it involves any of these things. So hopefully right now in this moment, you're realizing the absurdity of this belief and how completely ridiculous and how it is impossible as well for this to even be true. Or do you think that when you go to trade, the broker is employing some kind of a psychic mind control to control your mind so that when you want to get into a good trade, they won't allow you to do it 
psychically they're controlling your mind. Could be possible, right? You never know. Or do you think that when you're trading, you're making all the right decisions, but the broker is causing the market to move in the wrong direction and they're doing it just for you. And a friend of mine posted this video to prove that the broker was causing him to lose trades whenever he entered a trade. Okay, well, we all have access to multiple data feeds and everyone can get multiple demo accounts from different brokers, different brokers around the world. You can have a whole variety of different brokers platforms and some data feeds don't even come from a broker and you can even see publicly published charts on Google Finance or Yahoo Finance and a bunch of other different places. E-signal charts, uh, they don't come from a broker and a lot of a lot of data doesn't even come from brokers. So all of us together, we can compare our charts. If a broker attempted to cause the market to move just to take someone out of a trade, one person, you could other people with the same broker, you, you could see, you know, my chart looks like this, but what does your chart look like? Because uh, if the charts are the same, then you know that the broker didn't do something to you in particular to cause you personally to lose a trade. But could they cause like the majority of traders stop hunting and things like that? The idea of stop hunting, if institutional traders are the ones who are hunting for stops, I'd have to say that that's just because people can't read charts. And in our group, we're doing whatever it is that those institutional traders are doing because we can just read the chart. If you don't know how to read the chart, you would leave a stop at the wrong place and have it taken out. And so I have seen uh, someone showed me a chart where there were a bunch of spike candles sticking out all over the place that weren't on other brokers charts. And if you ever see anything like that, do make screenshots of it and compare it with other people and show it to other people and, and send it here and post it online. Let everyone know this broker has a place where this price is not accurate. The market didn't actually do this if that ever happened. But the majority of time, nothing like that has happened. So let me explain what really is happening. The first thing to become aware of is this. If you intend to have a business where you are creating consistent income and wealth through trading and you have this ideal business where you can trade for just a couple of hours per day and make all the money that you want and you can trade from any location in the world and if you master this skill of having consistent profit in your trading then you could have any amount of money that you would want from trading but if you hate the company that you have partnered with the company that you chose to partner with who's going to provide you the access to this market so that you can trade, which you don't have access to the market except through Forex brokers. They're providing you this access to this ideal business that you love and enjoy and provides you all the money that you would ever need. You can see how just the idea of the brokers causing you to lose comes from a deep inner conflict that could definitely sabotage your results, causing you to lose and fail in trading. Does that make sense? Is that true? Whenever you go to your computer to trade and you open up your broker's trading platform, if every time that happens, you're having feelings of resentment, feelings of hatred and frustration, toward the broker who is providing you the access, your partner in your business. You must see how unlikely it would be for you to also have the feelings that would create success, feelings of happiness and appreciation, feelings of, of harmony, like you're doing the right thing in your business, like any person would naturally have if they had a business that would enable them all these things and to make as much money as they want. 
So just the idea of having that belief is something that could definitely cause traders to lose. Even whether or not it's true, you might want to not have those feelings and beliefs like that. You may want to have feelings of, of appreciation when you go to trade. So now let me reveal to you the truth about what they mean by brokers trading against you. Okay, so it's known that 90 to 95 percent of traders will lose their capital. That's just known. It's not anything personal against you. It's just that's just known. And in fact, that's known in other industries too. It's not just trading. If you looked into insurance sales or something, there'd be like 90% of the people are not really making very much money or, or real estate agents or, or network marketing or something, you know, there's only five or 10% of the people who are making money because those are the only people who are taking action and having a positive mindset and doing the things that would cause them to get results. So it's not just trading, it's business in general. And this has been known for a long time. So if it's known that 90% of the people are going to lose their capital, since that is known to be a fact, then wouldn't it make sense that the brokers are going to take all the new customers and most of the customers are going to go on to what's called the B book traders and dealing desk brokers who are market makers are going to be the entity that provides the liquidity for those traders to trade so that when they deposit their money, they're kind of like just creating a video game. Like it seems like they're trading, but really they're just trading against the liquidity of the broker. So whenever you enter a trade, the broker will automatically enter a trade in the opposite direction. When you close a trade, they're going to automatically close. And obviously it has to be instantaneous. No person is doing that. And a human being could not possibly do that because they would never have that ability to jump that quickly every time one trader made a trade. So it's an automatic thing. So it's not personal against you. It's just a recognized known fact that 90% of the traders are going to lose all their capital. And it makes good business sense for the broker to take all those traders, put them on the B book and allow them to trade against the broker.